We're expecting the Samsung Galaxy S23 phones to bring a host of upgrades with them, from the cameras to the processors, but there is apparently one key spec that won't see an improvement, the fingerprint sensor. So hey everyone, I am Ayush and if you are new here, don't be shy, do subscribe now. Reliable Leaker Ice Universe seems to have got hold of a layer of protective glass for the Galaxy S23 Ultra model, and it reveals a spot where the fingerprint sensor will be located, a spot that's the same size as it is on the Samsung Galaxy S22 handsets, there's nothing particularly wrong with the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S22, but as Notebook Check points out, it had been hoped that the sensor on the Galaxy S23 would be bigger and better. Now that looks unlikely to be the case, specifically, the Galaxy S22 is fitted with the capable Qualcomm 3D Sonic Sensor Gen 2, whereas it was thought that the Galaxy S23 would carry the Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max, a sensor that's more accurate, more secure, and can scan two fingers at once, the original report of a fingerprint sensor update may have been inaccurate from the start, or Samsung may have opted to continue with the same fingerprint sensor to reduce expenses. Either way, this upgrade is suddenly seems doubtful, you can argue that fingerprint sensors aren't the most important component on a smartphone, but bearing in mind how often we unlock our phones every day, they can have a significant impact on the user experience, analysis, fingerprint sensor upgrades, head over to the official website of the Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max, and you'll see there are improvements in a whole host of areas. It's the largest ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor to appear so far, using sound waves to scan fingerprints at a rapid pace and at an incredibly fine resolution. According to Qualcomm, this technology makes it considerably more difficult to forge a fingerprint than it does with conventional optical fingerprint scanners. Wet fingerprints will be scanned more quickly, and because of the usage of acoustic scanning, it is also more accurate when your fingertips aren't completely clean, the larger surface area makes it possible for two fingers to be scanned at once, and the sensor has a 1 in 250,000 error rate, according to its manufacturer. However, based on the leaked protective glass that we've seen appear online, we're going to have to wait until 2024 at least to see it in a Galaxy S flagship phone from Samsung. It's not all bad news though because the Galaxy S23 is going to bring with it several improvements over the phone that came before it. Already this week we've heard that the handset is going to carry a custom version of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset that provides even greater performance. Finally, tell me your thoughts about it in the comments section, hope you subscribe to this channel, I will see you in next one.